Hello and welcome back to another episode of Gears Tactics. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our blind playthrough of Insane Difficulty. It's time for the post-game interview mission aka Veteran Mode. We've cleared the main storyline and we're still trying to get that supreme loot. 3 out of 20, which kind of is a Pokemon style of telling me that is how much you need in order to get the full collection. And we got two additional missions left over. One with a legendary uh, side piece. So we're definitely going to go into this one here. And I have an interesting team that I would like to present to you. Because I took some time to prepare these uh, soldiers. We're going in uh, with uh, these four. So I've decided everybody who's not in the main team essentially gets to wear a helmet. That way we can distinguish them also optically. The four that I want to go into is support, sniper, heavy and scout. And I will use this as a nice little excuse to also try out some more builds. And uh, for the scout, what I want uh, for the support rather, what I want to try out is this side here, I've settled on that Paragon potentially as a must have. So any build that I would build with a support kind of includes Paragon plus something else. And in this case, I want to check out how the surge and healer tree actually works because uh, mm -hmm. Bishop here, we rescued her and she originally was a healer. Now we're going back into that healer tree. We've had uh, the uh, Paragon Strategist built on our main character. Now we're going to see how well the healer one performs. Equally so, Taxi is our alternative sniper. We already used her on a few storyline missions. She's the marksman with a lucky streak uh, build that just skilled as far into the hunter tree to, in a, in, in a sense, get uh, the chain shot. It's a bit different than uh, what our main sniper is dealing with. Less action economy, but uh, more crits and uh, higher first blood, which is a nice uh, hefty bonus for killing or shooting at targets that uh, essentially have full health. Then we do have Skids here, who is going to be our heavy. A very different build than normally. We originally played him as an artillery slash specialist uh, type of character where we try to focus as much on the shooting power as possible. But I figured we might want to go with the ultra shot build, really have that heat up and the strategic positioning. So all of this here speaks a clear language and in terms of uh, strong uh, focus on, on normal shots that on the other hand, can be complemented with a bit of quick overwatch. So getting that uh, very important extra action point when overwatching, getting skill reduction when overwatching, so that there is an incentive to use the last action point to effectively overwatch. And with that, um, essentially let all of those skills also go down uh, plus have a decent overwatch. Of course, if you're level seven, like I mentioned with our heavy, there could be an argument made that you're going into uh, Slayer and Counter Push Defender and then um, have Slayer plus Ultra Shot. But on our Prime Heavy, um, his uh, nickname is Tank, I decided that I wanted to have all of those uh, defensive anchor and healing anchor abilities. I really didn't want to get rid of uh, those. So uh, we're not yet at that dual build. A dual build, in my perspective, becomes viable the dual build how i would define it with a strong focus on um, on overwatch and then going for ultra shot becomes available at level eight so we might get there possibly at some point and we got marcella specter she was with us from the very beginning uh, yet with another skill tree this time i'm trying the raider skill tree again similar to the specialist where i uh, am of the opinion that there are a couple of um, essential skills for the scout I would say is sprint to reposition the frag grenade uh, mastery to reduce all of the cooldowns and then effectively the proximity mine just to have that extra ability to uh, to have a second uh, grenade that is very strong and uh, I would keep that as a core of every build but now we have the opportunity to um, breach out the ra uh, the raider tree uh, is a lot about just shooting. It's double shot. It is getting additional accuracy. We got this exertion ability even on level two where we uh, pay one action point to get three actions and pay 30% of our health 
in the same instance though if we're um, killing something later down the line uh, bloodlust would heal us back up and there is a double shot uh, that allows us to kill and the kind of ultimate is rampage shoot if the target is downed or killed you continue to shoot again with the same effect so she's effectively running into the enemies uh, hidden with a shotgun and then starts to boom, uh, shoot them down with the shotgun that in a nutshell though also requires us to have a lot of ammunition unfortunately only got that plus one ammo there is no real better ammunition the one thing that we could do is more ammunition on the shoes but at the same time utility uh, belt with that grenade reduction is just too good to pass on so we got to deal with four sh uh, with four shots in the shotgun um so that's maybe a bit of a compromise build and we're going to see how how that is going to go down this time we got to kill seven or more enemies with overwatch we're going to start with that mind you only Felipe here is a really good overwatcher uh, taxi might do some overwatching so we at least get an excuse for overwatching the problem is enemies get 40 percent evasion that means we're not going to be able to hit many of uh, them as they will be incredibly difficult to hit but we're going to see Scouts how well it turns out. Cash. Luckily, it's just as flammable as the rest of them. Get there, destroy it, double time at home. That's the plan, Diaz. Let's go. Okay, off we go. Let's jump right into it. I'm excited. I want to see the new builds in action. I totally love that in veteran mode you can kind of mix and match all of the builds and we can see what works and what doesn't. Okay. Good. We're yet again in a mission where we will need to secure that bridge. Typically securing the bridge is the hardest part in those missions. Awaiting orders. Let's use our scout to do exactly what the name says. Scout ahead. No problem. Ooh, nothing. That's a first timer. Bring it on. I'm ready. Wait, 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 wait. We just found the first yeah. hammer burst drone, okay? I'm listening. Your check moves up, sniper moves up as well. And I want to take the high ground if possible. And Jack does what Jack does best, which is hide. Good, got a hammer burst drone and another hammer here burst over here. That's a disciple. Leave in Disciple. And another Hammer Burst Drone and another Leave in Disciple. Okay. Super power, uh, powered grubs. I'm okay with either of them. Personally, I hate uh, enemy snipers the most out of all of the units. Yeah. Good, let's nicely get into position. And do we have grenades? No, we don't. But what we can do is... Seal this one off. Good, sniper moves in. 10% chance for a hit. That's okay. Sniper gets sniper aura. Yeah! Heavy begins to move in. <gasps> We're 
we're giving the heavy the heavy aura. I read you. Or a nice little improved overwatch damage. Jack is just going to hide Ready. and do Jack things. Eyes peeled. Hmm. If we were to move to here, that's potentially a bit too aggressive. Fortunately, no real spot to hide anywhere around here. And we're just going to overwatch from here. Heavy. By the way, overwatches. Now, if you wonder why wouldn't I go in more guns blazing, the, the idea here should be to kill them with overwatches if possible at all. Oh, that guy took a heavy beating. Alright, this is our main target. Gotta deal with him. Let's kick some ass. That frees up, uh, that very much frees up our sniper. Can't really hit him. Could try to hit this guy. Do a bit of a side arm overwatch. Not too bad. Yep. You know, if we just keep them there for one round, even if we don't hit, the suppression still suppresses them. Move up to here and open that room for the next guy. Moving to position. Heavy takes the extra actions. Bring it on. I'm ready. I read you. Good, that should be fine. Heavy reporting in. And out of curiosity, can we hit the guy back here? No, we can't. We soften him up. 26% is not great. That's potentially a no. On it. So three overwatches. Jack moves here. Bit of an uh, plus right. hit aura, and then hey. just uh, stops his movement. Can 
Can we hit that little ticker? Apparently that is not a possibility. I don't like our prospect over here. On the move. It's never great to hide behind a house. It just doesn't work out very well. Definitely hoping for a better outcome. I hope the ticker can't climb the ladder. Engaging. Okay, there is the interruption. Good, good, good. That worked well. We got a few of the boys down. Let's kick some ass. Fire in the hole. Good, so that's one. Can kill the other one uh, with Overwatch. Yeah. Standing by. Yeah, I think that that would trigger. No problem. Oh. oh, did I just Here, hit the heavy? Hmm. Premium play psychon. Good job. I just want to showcase really how great healing is, guys. Look at that. Heavily injured. Okay. Good to go. And good to go. It's actually really good. 250, 300 because he was quite injured. Hmm. Not bad. All right. What a fantastic play. In case you can't tell, Welcome. it was heavy sarcasm. I completely overlooked the health bar here. Good. Heavy gets more Take actions. And once we're at it, how about making Bring sure that on. we kill this I'm guy? Ready. On Overwatch. Reloading. Reload. Great. And let's get these clowns down. Okay, just in case we're actually getting shot. 40% damage reduction and we are hiding. Still overwatching, five more enemies. Okay, what an intense turn. Oh, 
Good, we're starting to heal. Moving out. We're moving out. Just hit him without killing him. Because we need four more kills. Bring it on, I'm ready. Support aura and I'm listening. Check just goes down. Again, first things first, more overwatch you over here. Got another ticker there. Kill zone established. And let's reload. Gonna reload. I want that ticker dead. They if they don't come uh, by themselves, we're just going to do an overwatch and take a shot at them because then they will run into the overwatch zone. Killed seven with Hostile Overwatch. Roger that. Got a nice lucky streak. <laughs> oh, what? There's a guy behind all of this. Mm. Okay. Fantastic. That's what is it? A zeal. They want to get up close. We don't let them because they need to be standing there for now. Acknowledged. Dead and gone. Okay, reload. reload. Next turn, I will try to kill him with the uh, with the scout. So let's see how well that works. For now, overwatch, overwatch it is. Well, that was completely pointless because we can't really overwatch that far. We can't move, so no point in trying to overwatch there unless someone is dropping into it. Good, so how would that work? We're exerting ourselves. I uh, got five action points. Affirmative. We would run. Right next to them. Of course, not too close to them, but close. Somewhere where they don't get an attack of opportunity. We would take a double shot, I suppose. Down. We're definitely missing accuracy in this build. Aim assist, 40% accuracy. Okay. I don't know guys, I'm I'm trying and maybe maybe it's just a poor example, but look at that grenade. Yes, I am somewhat grenade specced, but not remotely as much as I could be. Yeah, show them. You got it. Ready. 
It's just sad to see that you the idea it. behind it is good, but with the main weapon of the shotgun Heavy and that uh, huge uh, fall off of damage, how is this going is supposed to work? Look at this in the in the contrary. Let's yes, it, it is the same ultimate. Partial hit, not a hit, but we're getting there. Lots of extra accuracy. Okay. Um, some misses, and he wasn't even through it. Keep knocking him down. Like he still had four more shots to go, and this guy was just melting like butter. Imagine it on a high ground, and Orders? with adequate uh, additional support. I'm not saying it's bad or anything, but Here, I need a bit of a better grasp on how to play Moving. that Raider spec. Hey. The idea of the Raider spec is to use the shotgun, and it it does not come with that uh, okay. extended cloak per, def uh, per default. And that in itself, I think, is already a design flaw. Because it forces you to for run in. Yes, you got that um, that extra nice. action ability here, exertion, which is better than anticipation, I guess, because it immediately gives you something in return for something that's arguably not as uh, not as important. We can relatively easy heal up. There are multiple ways of doing it, Scanning now. specifically with Jack around and so on. So. I'm really wondering what I am uh, doing wrong. You would need to move up with them. You don't have sprint in that tree, so you can't particularly move up fast. That's number one. You don't have prolonged stealth, which also doesn't give you the benefit of kind of moving up uh, there two rounds in advance, which means you have more or less a frontline grunt. If you had a normal weapon, cool. I fully get it, but you can't tell me that we're using the standard issued semi-automatic pistol as the normal engagement tool, specifically since it does not, as you can see, work with the ultimate called Rampage. Um, here, Rampage on, Rampage off. So a couple of the skills, also double shot apparently, yeah, are not available. Which means the logic of that build is, you're going to go in with one time unit, so you're already relatively near to the enemy. Maybe you have stealth last round, but you got to be near uh, to the enemy. One move in, uh, you're uh, you're using exertion. Okay, you start with five uh, with five actions. I use two in order to get to the enemy. Is that completely uh, out of proportion? Potentially not. But let's say you're using one. So you're here with four um, with four actions, and let's say for the sake of argumentation, three simple hammer burst drones are around here then you would still need to hit them first and foremost okay i can see that with double shot and with the aim assist of jack that could work out well i can even further see that if you are having an absolute uh, easy enemy right next to you uh, rampage uh, could uh, could could kill that enemy and then shoot again uh, so if you are potentially standing in the middle of three or four grunts, you can uh, use Rampage and kill one, then kill the next one, kill the next one. However, you don't have the necessary crit um, to make all of them a crit. So in best case, you maybe kill two or three with that skill. Mind you, um, you have the same with Explosive Shot on the heavy and that doesn't even uh, require you to stand all the way next to them so the whole rampage uh, shot i don't understand the design principle behind it you need to get close to the enemy and you need to be able to kill it small enemies wretches and co um, will uh, interact with uh, retaliating strikes or attacks of opportunity so you would need to stand far enough away but the further you stand away from the enemies the more difficult it becomes for uh, for you to effectively hit the target so there's a bit of a design principle flaw and maybe this is just on insane difficulty but i have a hard time picturing how that works on any other difficulty in a meaningful way i can see the whole assassin thing 
uh, so the lower tree where you go and you strike and then you kind of re-stealth uh, with it that's cool that's that's a really good and sound mechanic i can see the grenades they obviously are totally overtuned but i i have a general understanding how it's supposed to work um, i do not understand why all of those prolonged scout skill skills ha haven't been moved to the top right hand side uh, where you do have obfuscate obfuscate is okay it's an okay skill but it doesn't really do much other than putting your scout into the support bracket and i think the scout can do more than quote unquote just being a support and scouting out specifically there isn't really that much that you need to scout out in this game uh, he doesn't have any cool scanning protocol abilities or invisible enemies that are becoming visible it's just you're faster uh, but you you suck at uh, combat, uh, which which is a bit of a problem of the top right tree. Now, I could even get behind that because obfuscate is good. But rampage, I read you. I I want to make it work, guys. Leave a comment down below if you have had played a successful rampage build and tell me what I am doing uh, wrong. What am I overseeing with rampage? What well, overwatching with rampage? Good, enough waffling of me going on about uh, potential orders. builds. I think it is orders. time to hit the road, Jack, and don't you come Moving. back. No more, no more, no more, no more. Blood of Wretches, that's great. Theron Guard. Uh, we got Deviant Disciples, and we got the always beloved Sniper Drones. They just give you a run for your money. Moving to position. So do we have high ground? No, but we have a choke point, which isn't the worst option ever. Awaiting orders. Got some decent options here. Ready. Sniper reporting in. 12% chance. Well, that's not a good chance, right? But that might be a better chance. Out of curiosity, couldn't we move you up? No mercy. Position ourselves nicely over here, which is far enough away from any overworld. Ah, uh, there's still the Theron Guard. Hmm. Yes, we gotta live they with that. Nah. Nope. We're just going to pistol overwatch. On overwatch. Not a great overwatch, but I will need the proximity mine. The Theron Guard is a problem that might bite us in the rear a bit later. These guys have a nicely solidified position. Okay. They finally caught up with all of our bullshit here. And even the snipers are starting to slowly move in. Read you. Moving. Good. What are we going to do with you guys? How about we're leaving a nice little frag grenade here?
There we go. Two for the price of one. Keep it up. We don't want to exert ourselves. We could kill this guy if we wanted to. Sniper on standby. Yep. Can we get him out of cover? That's a good question. One that I think we should try to answer. Heat up. Yes, please. 25% more damage. That also applies to grenades, as you can see. And since okay. damage stacks multiplicatively, we can also give it some more damage and extra actions. And power. There we go. So now we're talking. Baron Guard. Outgoing frag. Grub terminated. More like Baron Dead. Yeah. Roger that. Sniper moves into position. Let's try to get that guy out of cover. We could always use suppressing fire. What I want to do is we're starting with this here. And then we're going to move closer. Next turn, uh -huh. we're going to support. Moving up with our support. Overwatch. Scout overwatches. Heavy on standby. And we got many, many shots. So might as well make use of it. All right, maybe you're just hitting that 10% uh, shot, because why not? Because why not? Um, yeah, we. I don't want to take shots there. Just got an achievement. Hit a target with 10 or less percent with a critical um, with a critical Enemy hit. Apparently there is an achievement for being lucky. Engaging. Your history. Good. They are starting to move in, which is okay. I don't mind that. But this is now the perfect kind of range for a sniper. Sniper aura, yes, please. Sweet. Unfortunately, we can't give them aim assist. Well, I mean, what we could do. No, we can't even do that. Nope. Ready. See, and now we do have the same problem as always with that scout here. Not really a Ready. good position to be in. Do we want to frontline with Marcella? Rather not. I don't want to lose her. Could charge over, but not yet. Exertion. I mean, yes, I could run over and throw another grenade, okay? Uh, it's always a possibility. Point that I was trying to make is the grenade build can do that every single turn. Once apparently the radar build. 
can't really do that. Here, pass. Good. Bring it on, I'm ready. No problem. Moving over, picking up the second crate. Package secured. Moving into full cover. Scanning now. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Jake is going to become invisible. Hey. Let's just take uh, the shots for now. This guy is at full health. 37%, however, is not good enough. We're just taking a normal shot. Well, sometimes you're also critting with that normal shot. I am relatively lucky, I might say. Is it an option for a precision shot? You know, it could be. This is a sniper drone back there. Can't really hit him. Only 10% hit chance either way. Asking myself. Maybe we should just overwatch and make sure that he does not come closer. So and now, as always, uh, we only got the 10% uh, chance to hit. We're somewhat ending up in that strange spot uh, where we are just overwatching at each other. That was a pistol shot. Cool. That was a pretty badly thrown grenade. Good, more, even more uh, grenades. Good. So now we finally got something to do for the scout, right? Somehow you could make your way through here with a sprint. There's this one particle where the sprint will connect. I was okay. Games have not learned uh, from the XCOM grenade problem. Okay, I will just accept. Roger that. That you're sprinting to here instead of somewhere else. Okay. Fair enough. I've got this. Getting more actions. Frag out. And then there is that. So what we can do nicely, and I would say the build is okay for that, is really moving around, interrupting here and there, 
hitting a couple of uh, critical hits. Yep. But it has all. It feels like it has almost no kill pressure, even Point now in. with the with the um, mines. I could go through it and then be poisoned. So that's not a very smart idea to begin with. Yeah. But really, what's the alternative? Wilco. Orders? Go ahead. <laughs> So, this automatically reloads. Let's and this should free. just solve the problem. Oh, come on. I, love, uh, I love how you can solve every single enemy problem with ultra shot and just enough ammunition. Good. Jake is becoming invisible again, and we are overwatching. Bring it on. I'm ready. Enemy movement. All of the builds are functioning in their particular regard reasonably well. Sniper is doing some some decent damage. Like uh, it's actually a. Perfectly serviceable, uh, serviceable build, if you think about it. Like this year, 81%. That's a good um, hit chance. Say if Jack continues to move in a bit further, and then that first bloodshot with 1,400 points of damage if it crits. That's good. Nice little free reload. So that's okay. great. Support here. I am surprised about how easy the healing becomes when your healer you is actually it. healing spec, even with a few points there. That um, one that one trait that allows you to heal for double the healing Eat if the if your if your comrade is low on health that's really a good uh, good one it effectively doubles your healing because oftentimes all right reloading you need it the most um, when I'm the hit listening. points are very low who's next Moving out. Gonna reload. They won't get past me. Good. Sniper lots and standby. lots and lots of overwatching here for now. On it. Bit of a shame with all of those grenades on the ground. yet which I have to keep in in mind when moving back that here scratch one grub is a nice kill though moving to position 
heavy here. Awaiting orders. Forty four per cent hit chance. Wondering, hmm. Let's give it a try. It's actually a really good hit. And let's finish him. I missed. Okay, not Go so ahead. good. We're trying that again. Rip him apart. No mercy. Thanks to Jack's aim assist. Even if we don't hit. Uh, we get a nice bonus. Nice. Good. We're handing all of the bonuses to our heavy. And this here should be good. Twenty. Well, shouldn't say that. Can we hit with a grenade? Yes, we can. I'm going first. Two actions. I would say we're taking one shot to get the aim bonus. Low on ammo. That's fine. Because now we have the aim bonus and Bring it on. we can I'm overwatch ready. with aim uh, with aim assist. Uh -huh. Sounds like someone's a controller player in a first person shooter game if they have aim assist. now okay cooldowns are ready and we're triple overwatching jack is just hiding not the perfect ending for uh, for the standoff specifically if you can't really disrupt them let's make it happen orders yep Luckily, we still got the semi grenade spec. Frag out. Do or die. Uh. On my way. Sprinting up. Come on, Rampage, I want to see something useful. Double shot, please. Is that creating an attack of opportunity? No, it's not. Getting rusty. Another one down. Standing by. Got the goods. okay well takeaway of this mission was the builds are working uh the new ones that we're uh, trying out the precision shot i still am not 100 percent convinced about it if you think about it two action units and it gives you 30 or 40 percent uh, aim mm, it's okay i from a statistical perspective would much rather like to shoot twice and have the second one with plus 20 aim in most of the cases that's better the only downside is you need more ammunition generally speaking is actually a better trade 
uh, to uh, to make. So I'm not a hundred percent bought into that. Like I said, the precision shot rather higher cooldown, but definitely too expensive on the on the uh, ability point uh, front. That uh, should have been solved differently. Maybe. Uh, work specifically and only against enemies in cover that way you would have had a counter to cover with that build um, the healing build did surprisingly well I liked it taxi did good I would say decent damage I am highly impressed about that ultra shot very serviceable ability uh, even though the uh, cooldown is high but with that overwatch cooldown reduction and several other cooldown reductions it's not that bad so three four rounds in and uh, with overwatch and you already have the ability back that's actually quite good i was way disappointed with uh, the raider spec that didn't work out well good i promised you we're going to do loot and we have a few loot items let's start with gape and see what we do have light build that's still the best one uh, movement and uh, it essentially allows us 10 accuracy once we have moved more accuracy and ammunition that's good i don't like uh, the low ammo uh, version i i think this one is better expertise is good um, it is fantastic because it allows us to use our um, uh, our inspire every single round I think we're going to settle for disrupt and uh, damage that is better and uh, that's a good combination uh, snap pistol cool yep that's cool i like it and he has uh, still has that epic stim grenade i think it's still a good uh, a good grenade to have at least on one uh, of the soldiers hardened is good that maximum health comes in handy to survive and we had champion which was fine um, when this unit executes an enemy each ability cooldown is also reduced by one so i like the champion that's a uh, he's kind of the executor of most um, and here we had uh, glory which was executes an enemy this 100 percent uh, chance to reduce the skill cooldown and here we do have the legendary self-repair 30 percent of the damage received during most recent turn at the beginning of your turn this unit will revive see on lower difficulties i would say easy easy peasy uh, that's a fantastic set of boots problem here is i've never seen anyone being downed it's just if you are getting hit you're toast done end of it uh, what are his boots heavyweight 15 percent damage reduction i think you can make a case that this here will heal more on the next turn and that he would actually counter heal but the problem is the damage spikes and not the amount of damage that you regain so critical hit resistance that's exactly what we need on those guys Good. got a fantastic grenade got a fantastic pistol now what else is new hair trigger good 10 percent crit chance not needed bloodlust heals him for 25 percent of the damage that he deals mm. he is already having plenty of healing flatliner is great but i think this combination still is a bit better anticipation is fantastic and he now has the hot swap uh, thing that was again unit gets a reload ability next shot 50 percent uh, damage okay well, that's fine i mean this one is good i still debate that disrupt is also fine but since we wanted to not make him too much of a disruption build we've just added another disrupt on the gape i think we're fine in terms of sniper plus crit damage all the way that is correct crit chance is good i appreciate that accuracy bonus yes 
and we got the damage here so that weapon is good still all out on that uh, mm. and here the magazine extension that's just just like we would uh, use her and I would also keep her build for now Rhea 20% uh, da uh, 20 damage and disrupt we have another disrupt here this is an automatic 100% uh, critical hit that's great um, here we would have zero in Yeah, that is much better. Higher accuracy bonus and when we uh, execute someone, we're even getting that bon uh, another execute bonus for two turns. And yeah, I mean, this here goes without saying, right? Brutality on top of it, executes an enemy, gets also 20% damage. So essentially there is an incentive for her to now also execute. And we have, by the way, two Supreme Weapon mods here, which... 490 points of damage that is that is a word that's quite a ton of damage as freak from league of legends would say blast zone yeah she's rea is great uh, with the one exception that we said uh named characters are allowed to not wear the helmets and then we got quincy 40 damage versus 60 damage and 10% crit chance. Uh, yeah, that is not even a question at this point. Hair trigger versus passive skill hair trigger. 20% uh, and effect to cures. Second shots gets a 100% crit chance. Yes, please. High ground arguably is still good. Uh, high ground is arguably still good with 40% crit chance, but... 20% chance for repeat hit. That's pretty damn impressive. Here we got accuracy bonus. Here we still got an accuracy bonus, but overload on top of it. Uh, we will reload during overwatches. Entering overwatch also refunds uh, one action on this unit. Okay, that's exactly what we were looking for. Disrupt and damage. Th this guy needs disrupt, I hope. I definitely hope that the supreme um, uh, improvement here is uh, is focusing on disrupt. This one here, the Overlord, holy shit, that is good. Gets one um, can reload, which solves the entire problem of entering Overwatch without uh, reloading. And then we gain one additional action on top of it. That means going into Overwatch always is three for one at this point. That is insane. Got a nice little pistol here um, yes please still got the optics that's good what else do we have stabilizers 10% yes overwatch gets 50% damage reduction uh, yeah we're going to use that because that will make us very very tanky so here we got double down okay and here we got self-repair hmm I mean look this can get up to 21% damage bonus that's good. The self-repair is also... It's actually not too bad on him. But I think double down is still a bit better. This here would make him even more tanky. 50% damage reduction, then 20% damage reduction from his, uh, from his hardened anchor skill. That's 70% damage reduction when he is in Overwatch. And I could see if he then regains 30% of the uh, the health and then heals as with healing anchor. That could be one sturdy mofo. But I think we also need damage. And if I just look at the weapon and we've just seen the scout running around with 500 points, almost 500 points of damage. This here is supposed to be the main damage dealer. So I would like a big fat... Uh, 
a set of ammunition and a lot of damage. Hair trigger is great. The other option is more, um, more ammunition. But given that we have the ability to automatically reload during Overwatch, ammunition is no longer our biggest concern. Well, 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 that um, ends today's equipment session. Is If you uh, take a look, we got a few sit here almost at level seven, um, Michaela almost at level seven. So we're going to get some more, uh, some more leveling up. Plus one veteran level. I don't know what that means. I don't know what veteran levels mean. But there is a legendary armor in here, um, and we got to do it. I, I honestly don't know how the whole um, veteran mode plays out. I'll give it a few more missions because so far it's a lot of fun. I am actually enjoying it, but I could imagine it maybe becomes repetitive. And I don't know if we want to go through all of the 20 supreme loots. Uh, I still want to test out a few more, a uh, few more skills. So those uh, secondary characters are important and near and dear to my heart. And I might want to try to reach level 8 uh, or at least get the others to level 7 to see what the power spike is. So a few more explorations uh, to go. That's it for today. Thanks for watching, guys. A bit of a longer episode. If you enjoy the content and if you still like the veteran mode, leave a comment down below and see you in the next episode. Bye bye.